Hello everyone. Okay, so Erin's transfer day is tomorrow. So me and Jess just got to the coffee shop where we're meeting her at and we are trying to surprise her with some stuff just to, you know, make her feel better. It's a big day. So, but here's the problem. We think that she's going to pull up any minute because she's always early and me and Jess are always late and we haven't signed the card yet. So we're like, I'm like frantically looking around for her, hoping she doesn't just pull up next to me because I have all this stuff in my car. So I'm just waiting for Jess to get here. We're gonna sign the card, put it all together, and then hopefully she'll have no idea. Where's Jess's card? Oh, there it is. Okay. There's Jess. <laughs> okay, so I just got in Jess's car. We're on mission, surprise Erin right now. So just signing her card and I am on lookout duty, so. <laughs> she's not gonna get here. I can't even look up. I gotta do it. <laughs> Dude, she's got talent with the stick that No way. Um, short and voluptuous hair. Oh, please. you want it big? Oh, yeah. Even though I have no volume in real life. I'll just pretend on the stick figure. <laughs> okay, spotted Erin. Let me see if I can get her on here. Where's she going? I'm shocked she went in there by herself. I know. That's weird. How does she not see us? I'm nervous. Why? <laughs> you see her? I bet she sees us. You're so with funny. With all our stuff. Oh, there she, she doesn't even see us. She's sitting against the window. Oh, heck yeah. Real surprise right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. What is all that? It's for you. Oh my god. Yay! Do you want to sit here? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. Oh. Guess which stick figure is yours? <laughs> the one with the lighter hair. <laughs> that is I'm you. like, all right, I'm gonna do it waves. And I was like, she was like, and it turned out weird. So we're like, no, let's make that just. <laughs> we are clearly the most obnoxious people. In yeah, we are so obnoxious. Look at everyone so quiet. <laughs> Hello, so I just got back. It's kind of been a crazy day, but after the coffee date with my friends, um, I came home and did, just did some work um, commenting on Instagram and emails and I'm going to work on a blog post right now for a hotel. So that's all good, but I am just wanted to talk to you guys. I just went and got coffee with Noelle. She's one of the pastors at our church down here. And you know those people that are just literally so inspiring and I honestly just want to be like her one day. I just love feeling so full and just some of the things we talked about. I'm really excited to start incorporating some more stuff on Instagram and not just, you know, like giving you guys more ideas for how to grow a business and all that good stuff, but also more personal things and what I have learned in my personal life and kind of just brainstorming what that looks like. So excited to bring you guys more of that content and not just fashion, but more lifestyle too and personal things with me and Brandon and all that good stuff. So excited to just branch out on that a little bit more. I already noticed just from talking to her, I don't know, I feel like someone else can relate with this. I am so go, 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 go. I have my to-do list for the day. I need to get this, this, and this done. And my mind just races all day. And I never really just have time to sit down and think and journal, whether it be, you know, journaling to Jesus and just like getting my thoughts out there. Um, or whether it's like journaling about new business ideas and ways to grow my business. I just have caught myself getting so caught up in the motions and I just think that that brought a lot of perspective that I really don't want to get caught up in motions. I want to have time to be creative and think of new things that I can share with you guys. Whether you work a nine to five or want to start your own business or you already are on Instagram or whatever you do, I think we all get so caught up in the motions of everyday life and we never just take time to be quiet and journal or just have thoughts to ourselves where we can be creative. And so that's something that I want to work on and I want to challenge you guys into because I just think there's so many loud noises in the world today in general. So many things coming at us from so many different angles. Um, I don't know. I really just want to make sure that I always have time where I'm in silence 
and just thinking and praying and journaling to Jesus and thinking of new ideas and lots and lots of thoughts after that deep conversation. <laughs> so all that being said, I'm excited to see where Jesus leads me in these next few months and what he has for me in the blogging world and not only in the blogging world, but growing me as a person because it's so easy for me to stay where I'm at all the time, but I really, I really want to grow and challenge myself, which I'm such a perfectionist and a creature of habit. I don't like to grow a lot of the time because it's uncomfortable and I just don't like it. So I don't know, maybe you guys want to do it with me. So cheers to that. That's all I got for right now, folks. So <laughs> I am going to go back to work and blog until Brandon comes home because I'm just, you know, I'm just feeling really motivated right now. And then gonna make dinner and gonna catch up on The Bachelorette because The Bachelorette um, two part finale was on last night and I'm so mad because someone ruined it for me on Instagram. I was looking and they ruined who was in the top two and so, oh, kind of annoyed. But I don't know who won yet, so gonna catch up on that, probably have wine and it's gonna be a good night. So, feeling motivated. Don't know if this video brought you guys any inspiration, but it brought, it brought me a lot of inspiration, so. Just made some healthier enchiladas for dinner. Um, instead of using ground beef, we used ground turkey and also some low carb whole wheat tortillas. Also making some homemade tomato basil soup, which I'm super excited about. It's also really healthy. I'm going to link my Pinterest on here because I post all of my healthy food recipes that me and Brandon eat every week. And so I know a lot of you guys say that you want to see more of what I eat and what we like cook and all that good stuff. So it's all on my Pinterest. So I'll put the link on here if you guys um, want to see that. Chef me. Not really. I'm just copying everyone else's recipes. So there you go. It's just like... Dude, this is gut-wrenching to watch. Not, Poor I, Peter did not deserve this. I get that. And Send Jed home. Yeah, it was amazing. I, and honestly, like, I... Okay, so I just got back from bar this morning and I'm actually, actually dying. I'm so tired, it was really hard. But I always feel so good after I go. So I force myself to go every time, just kidding. So I'm just back at home and about to do some work for the next few hours. I'm going to see Murray in a little bit and do some more micro needling on my skin. So I think this is like our fourth time now. So I think we're planning on doing it a total of six times. And I've already seen so many changes in my skin, just like texture and less acne, smaller pores. So it's been really working well for my skin and definitely would suggest it if you struggle with acne scarring. I know I have a video on my vlog of like specifically just me and Marie, what we did for that one appointment and it shows like what microneedling is and she actually like answers a lot of questions on there that people have had and so Make sure to check out that video if you have not watched it. Still kind of pissed about The Bachelor last night. Like, first of all, I don't know why she sent Peter home because Peter was my favorite and I just love them together. And I also am a day behind on watching The Bachelor finale. So I'm going to have to be like extra careful on Instagram today because I don't want someone to ruin it for me. So anyways, gosh, I love The Bachelor and then Bachelor in Paradise. I wanna know what your guys' favorite is, Bachelor in Paradise or The Bachelor? Because Brandon loves Bachelor in Paradise. He's like okay with The Bachelor, he likes it, but he's like obsessed with Bachelor in Paradise. I'm sure he'd love me telling that to you guys, by the way. But yeah, I really like The Bachelor more though, but Bachelor in Paradise does have good drama, so. Let me know below if you guys like The Bachelor or Bachelorette better, because I'm actually very curious which one people like better. Anyways, I'm gonna work on my post for the day, and um, sweet Erin is getting her transfer done today. So just praying for her. She's been going through IVF for so long. Like I told you guys earlier, that's why we got um, her present for today. So yeah, just working on my post for today. And um, then I will take you guys along a little bit with me and Marie. Here we go.
Okay, so we did some dermaplaning and then some extractions. Can you tell I'm so red already? Um, so we just put some numbing cream on and now we are going to do microneedling. And so, yeah, I think we're on my fourth session now. So been noticing a lot of changes, which is good. We love the changes though. Okay, so all done with my skin appointment and I'm looking a little red and definitely scrubbing tonight, but I'm good with it. I'm comfortable, comfortable in my own red skin. So Brandon just ran into Whole Foods and we're getting some stuff for burgers and we're gonna grill out by the pool. Um, it's been some of our favorite times just living here in Arizona is the night swims and we have some fun grills by our pool. So yeah, it's been really fun just to chill after the work day, spend time with each other and Brandon go swimming because he is it's like a five-year-old when it comes to the pool. It's so cute. He literally loves the pool. Oh, then here he comes. So we're off to just, yep, have a night to ourselves and chill by the pool and hopefully watch The Bachelorette because I want to see what happens. So, yep. I just love nights like this. It's so much fun. So here he is. Social appearance from Brandon. Merry flipping Christmas. Ah! God bless you. He knows, ladies. He knows. He knows, goods. he knows. Drake lyrics. Got our little setup going. Brandon already put his feet in the pool. <laughs> and how are the burgers looking? Bomb. You're a pro, babe. Brandon does this thing when he gets in the pool. He likes to go to the bottom of the pool. Babe, show him, show him how you go to the bottom of the pool. There he goes. <laughs> it's like my little fish husband. Look at him. Literally kills me. Good entertainment. Good morning, friends. Just in the Starbucks drive-thru. Um, I've had this new morning routine and it's literally been the best thing for me. I don't know why, I just, I thrive off morning routine. So every morning I've been waking up and usually Brandon comes with me, but he has a really important flight this morning. So yeah, my morning routine is usually with Brandon, but he's on his morning flight and we'll wake up at seven, go to Starbucks at 7.30, come back, make breakfast, and then I will go to bar and come back and start working. And it's been so good for me, especially because it helps me, um, but like it's hard when you work from home because you don't have like a stable what well, I'm gonna do this at this hour this at this hour this at this hour like if you went in for a nine-to-five so it's been really nice just kind of getting some, some organization in my life is what I'm trying to say it's nice having some organization in my life so it's been really good and also has made me feel super on track with working out I actually like working out which is weird because who likes working out I don't know um, so yeah that's been good and for those of you wondering about my coffee order, I got a grande iced coffee with no sweetener and just a little bit of half and half. It's my favorite drink and it's only like 25 calories for the half and half or even less than that. It depends how much you get. So yeah, that's always my go-to drink. I really like it. But anyways, um, me and Brandon finished watching The Bachelorette last night and I could cry. Um, thoughts? <laughs> first thought, I really hope that her and Tyler get together. At first, like, I kept telling you guys, I was like, Peter, Peter, Peter. After I watched that, I was like, please go get drinks with Tyler. That will make my life. If they get together, I will be so happy. Put your opinions below if you are Team Tyler now or if you even think they'll get together. Brandon said that he could never do that if he was Tyler, like, because he knows that Hannah first chose Jed. And so he was like, there's no way if I was Tyler, I could do that. So I'm like, I hope she didn't miss her shot. I, I would love them together. So anyways, that's all my thoughts for the match. <laughs> but I want to talk about it. So if you guys have any opinions, leave a comment below. I'm going to respond. So I love you guys. And I hope you have a great what day. Is it Thursday? And yeah, I'll be back next week. So <laughs> so anticlimactic. Okay, bye you guys. Start to shake with your head, whatever.